All right, when you want to start working with the stylus, there's a little screw at the point here that you change the points by loosening the screw. Just turn that screw a half a turn and that'll loosen the point and you can then put another point in. If you loosen it too much, it's going to fall out. That screw is going to be hot and you're going to heck a darn time to get that hot screw back in there again. So just turn it a half a turn. We have different points to work with. We have this triangle shaped piece, this round uh, piece, the little pen point like this. Here is a very small uh, mini iron shape like that, which oh, I th find this the most useful one right there, and a wire brush. Now the wire brush you can't really use like a paint brush unless you want to just cause yourself all kinds of grief because the little wire bristles here uh, will twist all up and then you have to take a sharp tool and straighten out each piece of wire. So the way I use this is mostly to drag it through wax and in a dragging motion and create sort of a feathery effect with it. Um, it's just less trouble using it that way. But let's take this pen point for instance. This lets you do all kinds of very detailed little lines like this. And so let's say uh, when we later talk about working with rubber stamps, this lets you do very detailed uh, designs with the point. For instance, you can just touch that to the wax block and the wax sucks up inside that little pen point like an old quill pen, holds the melted wax right between the two uh, nibs like that. And you could touch it to the card and oh, let's say we just do a little bird right here. See, we could just put a little bird up here, touch the wax, make a little point, pull the wax up like that. So you can put little details in your painting like that. Uh, if you wanted to take this nub and start to work with a painting and say, oh, let's say we just, you know, put in a, a, a tree here. You know, we could come up and just start making images with this point. Very nice for making flowers, trees. It also makes a wonderful cactus. Very simply, just by touching to the green and pulling straight down, you can make a nice little cactus. And then you would come back with this point and do all the little detail uh, thorns that come off the cactus with that point. But exploring the different tips uh, is really fun, especially here's this little round image that can just be set down like that on top of your card, lift a little moon or sun in your picture.